Looking at the pound kiwi, we can see from last week uh, we're looking for the breakdown of the range, looking for the retracement this week to the upside, then looking for new lows. So let's go ahead and see what we have going on here on the big weekly time frame. You can see the brand new fresh supply zone on the weekly chart here. That is forming from uh, 1839 up to uh, basically 1900. Okay, so that's the level that we're watching as far as the big weekly chart goes. Over here on the daily time frame, this is really what I was looking to have happen uh, this week is that we would be retracing up to the 1820 level, finding resistance up there and then coming back down. Uh, that would be preferable. However, for this week, kind of ranged to the upside. Okay, we did not get a new low, so that's, that's cool that the trend hasn't continued yet, but we've just been ranging sideways and, and a little bit to the upside. Now, as far as getting into this position, this is, makes it really hard to want to take it short down here just because we have no space in between where we are uh, entering off of this small range area and the 1761, the bottom of the aqua zone. All right, so we really want to wait for this retracement to happen, or if that doesn't happen, then I would like to see price coming and doing something like this. Now, because it has ranged around for this period of time, I'm thinking that this is going to be the way things turn out here but uh, we could possibly have two different scenarios going along. So this is what I'm really looking forward to have happen this coming week. Looking at the pound yen, you can see here that we've been moving from uh, a high area down to a low area, and uh, we are we're coming down into weekly demand levels that are stair-stacked on top of one another. And it's, it's been quite the, the drop here over the past year, let's just say. All right, and uh, now we're, we're looking at the, the weekly uh, level that's just below us here at 129.63, okay? And uh, we formed just a new weekly supply level at 134.88 up to 138, okay? But uh, I, I really like the weekly uh, demand level at 129. I think that's been a very interesting level. And obviously, you can see that this level has gone back to uh, 2012, all right? That's where we've been. That's the level that we've been bouncing off of here. As we move into the daily time frame, uh, from the daily perspective, to me, this looks like we've just been moving back and forth in between really big ranges. Okay, so that's what I see first off and foremost is just really big ranges. Okay, so if you were uh, good about things and got short up here at the top of the range, then that is absolutely awesome. However, sometimes that's a, a whole lot easier said than done, but uh, I think that's very, very interesting. Now, Something has happened today that I think is also very, very interesting, and uh, it's not too often that I actually talk about uh, me posting stuff on social media, but this is really, really amazing. Uh, there was a, a wonderful bounce off of this daily uh, supply level, and uh, uh, I went ahead and got back into one of my personal positions and loaded up with even more. And uh, this thing has just like really dropped uh, quite nicely today. So uh, it, was, it was very, very cool. Uh, I'm looking for us to make new lows on this market overall. I think would be fantastic in the overall idea of the trend being down. But we have to look at that second word there too, or actually the, the last word there, which is rangy, okay? So realize that uh, we are experiencing a range on this market, but a really, really cool bounce off of the daily supply level at the 132 up to 133 level, and looking to see if it can't make a new low here from the, uh, the previous few days down there at the 120, excuse me, the uh, 
12963 level okay so that's what I'm going to be looking for there.